Welcome to the first run of our new campaign. Most of the players have never played before. Uh, the DMs, myself and Oliver, have played before, but we've never DM'd before, so we're doing our best. <laughs> we're in for a time. Hope you guys look forward to it. You are woken up suddenly by what feels like heavy rain. That stops once everyone is awake. Once you get a feel for your surroundings, you notice that you are laying on hard metal floor in a large, dim, dome-shaped room. There are vents very high in the ceiling, causing it to feel frigid in the area. You then hear a voice coming from loudspeakers set up at the top of the high ceiling. Oh, you're all awake. Good. Welcome to my funhouse. The goal is to make it out alive, find the artifact hidden within this place, and pray you all have the same goal. Good luck. You all need to do a constitution, constitution saving throw. Roll your d20s. Okay. Twelve. Cat. Mine was a thirteen. Becca. Mine was five. Oh. <laughs> 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 Elareth and Marla. You're fine. You just sneeze a little bit. Becca, you're <laughs> you're sick now. Your speed is reduced yeah. by five, and you take another minus one penalty to any strength rolls you have. Alra. Oh, okay. You take Oops. notice of a door placed about 12 feet above the ground. There are boxes and objects scattered around the room. You also have nothing on you except basic armor and the first weapon on your list. What do you do? I vote we blow it down. <laughs> it's it's twelve feet above the ground. The the door is twelve feet above the ground. You are and unable to reach it. I vote we use Malra as a I weapon. have a staff and I am a wizard. I'm a say, sorcerer. I will say right now, if you guys are gonna make plans, do it in character. And character voices. Um, this is lucid, like you want to roll to seduce the door? Oh, of course! <laughs> From 20... What, did you say 20 feet, Oliver? Yeah, yeah. From 20 feet below, you want to try and seduce the door? Um, yes! Phoebe, please! Roll. Five seconds. Am I rolling a d20? You roll your... Hmm. Let's see. D20, d20, please. Like, there's more options. Don't you roll your hit you dice know or your saving throw. No, no, no. I'm gonna make you roll a d100. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll d100, and you know what? I'll let you add your performance modifier. <laughs> if it's above an 80, you succeed. 94. 94? <laughs> cool. <laughs> If you you succeeded, role play it. Hey, uh, Dora, let me um do <laughs> 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 Oh Let me God. open you on up. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> the, All right. The, the door blushes at you and decides to open. <laughs> Oh, it's still too high above the ground for you to quite reach. <laughs> Good job, Phoebe. What if we Please. make a human ladder? <laughs> yes, we use Malra as a ladder. She's the pole. <laughs> Wait, but if we use a human ladder, adding together all our heights, that'll only be about. 13 feet. Still 7 feet off. Oof. You can always try looking around the room, trying to find if there's anything to help you. Let's press all the bricks in the room. It's in the room. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I agree. It's, it's a room made of metal. There's no bricks. Let's press every single square inch of the room. <laughs> looking. For <a> soft spot. <laughs> Roll investigation. Good idea. <laughs> Which dice should I roll? D20. 
Okay. <laughs> it's a five. Was that with your modifier? Oh, with my modifier, it's seven. You, you see... You don't... Oh, oh pr proceed. Okay, with a seven, you are very interested in these walls. You realize they're really smooth and you can't stop rubbing your hand across them. The stomach? That's it. <gasps> Look at this, I think it's iron. <gasps> Maybe it's a little bit of copper in there. Do you think it's steel? I haven't seen steel for a while. Produce it? Do you want to seduce the walls? <laughs> of course! I'm coming for you, walls! Roll, roll the d100 again with disadvantage. And 86. That's just my roll. Roll it again. Roll it again? Yeah, that's disadvantage or advantage. You roll twice. Disadvantage, you take the lower number. 22. What was it? Uh, I got 86 and 22. That 22. <laughs> on that 22, you're trying to, in an attempt to seduce the wall by smooth talking it and rubbing all over it, you catch, um, you catch um, a sharp part of it that happened to be sticking out. It might be a flaw in the construction. Uh, take one, uh, you take one damage. Ooh, a trapdoor because I've fallen for you. <laughs> well, I'm prepared. Yeah, so update, update your your current hit points um, to and subtract one from whatever your max is. <laughs> Elrith, would you like to try anything? Um. I have a look to see if there's any materials you can use to make the human ladder taller. Roll <laughs> perception with a d20. One. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. You're in a room. <laughs> oh, I would so like to can't. roll to use firebolt on the walls. Oh no. <laughs> Go ahead! Proceed. 20! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Are, was, so... that, was that a nat 20 or was that with modifiers? Nat 20? <laughs> um. With the magic of your staff, you are able to melt a perfect starway that leads right to where you need to go in the door. Uh, conveniently positioned perfectly that you don't have to <laughs> so now, now the, the young adventurers proceed through the door and climb their way up the very lovely made staircase. You... <laughs> this is fine. You, you enter into the next room and you see a door. It is shaped with uh, fairly dim lighting, but there doesn't seem to be anything around the room. The door has a reflection in it where each of you can see yourself. What do you do? Phoebe, would you mind seducing the mirror? <laughs> oh, I thought you would never have. <laughs> Roll. Roll. Okay, you know what? You can. It'll be the d20 this time. And you're just going to have to roll a straight charisma check. Okay, so the plus numbers are your modifiers. That's what you add for any type of, like, that stat roll. So if your charisma is 19, right? Yeah. Then your modifier is plus 4. So if you roll a 10, plus 4, it's 14. Um, perform it. What do you say to the... What do you say to it? Do you drink soda because you look so delicious? <laughs> as, you, as, you speak to, as you speak to your reflection in the mirror, your reflection blushes and puts a hand to her mouth and giggles. That's it. Would you like to try anything else? Seduce again. <laughs> you can't do that. That's not how it works. It's a sage. Can I, I read seduce it? You want to seduce the mirror? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. Roll the charisma check. 
Seventeen. Aren't you a paladin? What is what does your character do to seduce the mirror? Wink at it and do think again. <laughs> All right. Your reflection also blushes and beckons to you. Do you go towards I the mirror? Go close up. You go towards it. Do you touch <clears throat> the mirror? Yeah. Uh, sure. As you touch the mirror, your hand goes through. And you can, you can walk. Do you want to walk through? Uh, sure. Okay. You walk through, and you're on the other side, and your reflection disappears. Woo! Malra and Phoebe, you are still in the room. I would like to try to seduce the door by riding a high cue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe over here being an influence. Yeah. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Ten total? Ten total. Tell me your poem. Her shine is just so vibrant it reminds me of a diamond. If I could take a piece of you, I'd wear it on me every day. I would look into the mirror and gaze at you, and forever remember your beauty. I want to come back every day, every night, and gaze longingly once more. <laughs> Your reflection stares at you, and like, raises a hand and does the eh, so-so motion. <laughs> You're my best view. <laughs> That's what happened. Would either of you like to try talking to the mirror, or trying to go through it? Oh, I'd like to talk to it. <clears throat> what do you say to the mirror? I want to go up and say, okay, here's the deal. I have all my, like, dead people outside, and I kind of want to get back to them. So if you don't mind, there's no, like, bones in here for me to use. So you mind if I just, like, walk past you real smooth? Let's roll... Persuasion. <clears throat> what dice do you want me to roll for that? A d20. D20 still? Okay. Yeah. All this stuff would be d20 unless I say otherwise. Okay. Nat 16... Hmm. What's your um? What's what's like your modifier? That's only my two, so like eighteen. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> what happens is you go up to the mirror. Um, you go up to it, try and walk through and talk to it, and your reflection starts just mimicking you, everything you do, blocking your path to go through. Finally, though, it lets you it lets you through. After laughing at you. Hey, I get along with them. Welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, Malra and Elrith now proceed into the new room and take note of all the things that are in there. It is a square room like the last one, and also dimly lit. Although there seems to be a large mass in the far left corner. I vote I run up to it and try to talk to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Once you run up to it, the mass seems to become a creature, a sphinx creature, and it wakes up suddenly to take note of you. Uh, the sphinx looks at you very boredly and demands that you tell it a riddle. <gasps> a riddle? And while you think of that, we were gonna go I back already to have Becca. One. <laughs> I already have one. <laughs> Nope. Oh. You want to try and seduce your reflection again? <laughs> okay. Of course. Fine. Go. Roll. You can do it. Um. Uh, that's fifteen. Com total. Yeah. <laughs> what's your what's what's your which one are you gonna use this time? Name is an Elmo, but you can tickle me anytime you want to. You get a chuckle out of your reflection. Upon this for a second, does the eh, so so motion, <laughs> but has gotten bored and lets you through. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you have now entered the room with the giant sphinx that demands some wonderful riddles from all of you. 
the Sphinx also notes that they would like them to be smart and clever uh, riddles that make them think. I, I, I got my riddle. <clears throat> and what, little one, is your riddle? I have seas with no water, coast with no sand, towns with no people, mountains without land. What am I? Bread. The, the, uh, the Sphinx says bread very calmly. Knowing that that was totally the right answer. That's the answer, is it not? No. It's not the answer? Of course it's the answer. Another one. Try to get it right this time. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you will use me well. A shop. Well? That's not it. You can see the Sphinx gradually get angry with the responses that you are giving him. Okay, I'll give you one last one. I know you can get this one. Go. Often I will spin a tale. Never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But alas, you won't remember me. A farmhouse. Yes, well. you got it! I knew it. I knew that I was correct all along. See, I'm wonderful at riddles. All of my answers were correct. Thank you for finally realizing this. My wisdom is far greater than yours can ever be. So the answer was correct. Thank you for amusing me. The Sphinx then guides you over to the door that was and opens gingerly for you. And also pats you on the back as you proceed out. Thank you. <laughs> Elrith and Phoebe, do you follow Malra through? Malra? Malra? Malra. Malra. Do you follow Malra through? Uh, yeah. Or as I leave, can I hit it with a, a pickup line? <laughs> yeah, sure. You, you know what? Roll, roll for it. And I got 12. Um, oh. So that's adding four. That's 16. My pickup line is, you know, a mystery that Detective Conan can't solve the mystery on how you got so damn beautiful. <laughs> the Sphinx regards you for a couple <clears throat> seconds. It looks up, looks back down at you, and pushes you aggressively through the door and slams it behind you. <laughs> Phoebe, did you seduce thing again? Oh, of course. Uh, how can I not seduce things as I walk by? If you had I mean, gotten a 10, you would have gotten more damage. If I had gotten a 10? Yes. You haven't seduced me yet, so... Don't take that as a challenge. I will burn you. <laughs> I mean, I might. The, the three of you proceed into the next room. This one is now a cylinder with a high ceiling well. There are seven pits of fire, each being a different color. Every color is a rainbow. And there are seven torches lined up on the door. What do you do? Un unlit torches. Seven unlit torches. Okay. All right. <laughs> I would like to use Firebolt on all the torches. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I got it. You use Firebolt? Firebolt on all of the torches. You succeed. Nothing happens. Yay! Aww. No. But they're lit now. Yes, but nothing happens. I'm fine with that. See what's in the room? Now I sit in, sit in the middle of the floor and just him. Oliver, what's in the room? There are seven pits of fire, the pits being indented in the floor. Each fire is a different color of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, blue, and purple. Along so, with, rainbow. Yes, along with okay. nothing more than seven torches along the wall next to the door. Um... I pick up all the torches, put them out. I light them in the order of the rainbow, and then put them up in the order of the rainbow. Congrats! The door opens. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> you all walk so... through? <laughs> yeah. Come hither, children. <laughs> Get it? I'm three feet tall, but like... 
after you've exited the room with Rainbow Fire. You then get into a room with a large pit in the center of it, stretching across all of the The pit is at least 13 feet long, and it doesn't seem like there is any way, although in the pit, which is so around 10 to 20 feet deep, big variation, is a large a very long giant centipede. Fun. Is this a job for a bard? <laughs> I'll let Phoebe Phoebe's go first. <laughs> Phoebe, you go first. Go, go, go. I would like to roll for seduction. I rolled a 15, and now adding my charisma, that is 19. Oh! <laughs> I'm here. My pickup line is... I was a judge, I'd sentence you to bed. <laughs> the the giant <laughs> blushes over to you and then curls up towards you, not seeming to want to attack you in any way. <laughs> the centipede then lays down across the giant ravine of other jumpedes and seems to make a bridge with its sturdy long spine. Would you like to go over? Oh, of course. <laughs> I follow closely behind. <laughs> I follow it too. Leave my seduction. <laughs> just imagine you're like a two foot thing seducing a like 16 long <laughs> centipede. <laughs> <laughs> you're as big as its legs. <laughs> oh, all of you proceed across the centipede. That makes a perfect bridge for you. The centipede tries to follow after Phoebe, although is unsuccessful as any attempt to make it move makes it get closer and closer to falling back into the pit, which restarted its progress in trying to get to Phoebe. All of you make it into the next room and close the door. Well, do you want to close the door behind you? Hello, what a kid. No. Probably best. Huh? Aww. I want to leave it open because I want the giant centipede to come with us. Because I've always like wanted to study them. <laughs> like I like join our party. You keep the door open, although the centipede is unable to get it get through as it is too thick. <laughs> How many seats does it have? Drink of the centipede. <laughs> you, you, it has exactly seventy. No, one hundred for every single mm. leg. How oh, I like them. <clears throat> thick. The uh, <laughs> the next room is a fairly large room. There is a straight path that goes directly to the next door, which even seems to be open. Although in the room, there are giant, huge piles, feet high, filled with gold, silver, copper, jewels, all different variations that are just waiting for you. There's treasure chests that are overloaded with it, coins and money of all different variations, gems, sparkles, There isn't much light in the room. The, the little light there is seems to bounce off every single piece of it, making it reflect constantly. It's very glittery. What do you do? This I is an like... Aladdin setup. Yeah. I would like to simply slowly walk into the gold as I pull the question from my dead colleague out of my satchel. <laughs> I'm sorry, you thought What? I said, repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to slowly walk into the gold while pulling <laughs> the letter from a dead colleague out of my satchel. <laughs> <laughs> well, the letter from a dead colleague posing a question you have not been, not yet been able to answer. So I need to take it out, just in case there's an answer in the room. I mean, it's full of riches, so it might be full of rich knowledge as well. Did you say you walk into the gold? <laughs> uh-huh. What does the letter say? <laughs> it states, Do she got a booty? <laughs> she got a booty. Mm, did I write that? <laughs> Underneath. The do she got a booty? The question I can never answer is asked. To all things and men I appertain, 
And yet by some I am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and oogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Are Children you re- delight are you reading me, this elder out loud bright. as you walk into the gold. Yes. <laughs> Fair <laughs> maid rejoices in, this? cry and weep, yawn, and I sleep, smile, and I too shall as grin. You're, as what you're am talking, I? in the middle of a sentence, you start to hear something from the room. It seems to get brighter and hotter. I run towards it. Let's roll constitution. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. you want me to roll how much constitution I have? Roll a constitution check with that modifier. Oh, I'm gonna need a roll for this. Okay. So. Total, 15. As you get closer to the light and you gleefully run towards it, you realize a little bit too late that it's lava. What's your health at? I'm um, 10 and I have a fire resistance. You take two points of damage. I... The Wait. lava is continuously pouring into the room. Slowly, but it's going. What do the rest of you want to do? Oh, look for an exit. There is a door straight across clear path from where you entered. That's um I try to grab the other two and we zoom to the door. Do the other two resist it? Yeah, let's run. Cat? I'd like to kinda of just like run, but not like willingly. <laughs> Reluctantly run. I still want to seduce it, but like, I'll run. I kind of want to study it, but like, why not? Wink at it on the way out. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all three of you make it out of the room with minimal damage. You walk into the next room, and there's a giant pole in the middle. On the pole, there is a big red button. Attached to the pole is also seven sheep, each with a different color rainbow. Tied to them. What do you do? I pole dance to seduce the sheep. <laughs> I, I feel, like, I feel like pedestal would be a better word instead of pole. Uh, mm-hmm. Or are you going for pole, it? Oliver? It's like a plank. It's not really round. So you want you? I want... I give the sheep lap dances. <laughs> Did you sing my roll job? Per- roll performance. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have gotten more performance. Fourteen. Fourteen? How many 14. sheep are there again? Seven. Seven. Seven? Out of the seven sheep, three of them um fall in love with you and get very close to you. Okay, the okay. others aren't interested. Now I have a plan. I kill all the sheep and I raise them back as my like little minions. Because I'm a necromancer. So can I kill all them? And I bring sure. them back? You can kill okay. them. Okay. Okay. Forgot. Oh, art. I can play music. <laughs> <laughs> I can play music. Okay, so now I have seven. Sheep followers. <laughs> if I seduce them. Just kidding. Well, unless. Well, now they're dead. You can't really, like. They kind of have their brains hanging out. Uh, well, that doesn't mean anything. I seduce stumps. I mean, they basically are stumps. <laughs> I won't seduce. I won't seduce. I'll let you keep your followers. Okay, thank you. So you have sheep followers now. Yep. <laughs> so Dead. after what you... <laughs> after you um, raise the sheep back up, you notice oh. that there are two other buttons along with the red one. One of them is a green button. One of them is a yellow button. So it goes yellow button, red button, green button. I throw the corresponding sheep. 
to the corresponding button. As that happens. All at the same time. All at the same time. What mm -hmm. happens is that a timer appears above the door stating one minute, 30 seconds. At the same time, you also hear a sound in the distance akin to a bell that you would see on a cat. The timer's counting down. Is that all that happens? Yes. <laughs> okay. Giant cat. What do you do? I decide to rest. Into the bell. What'd you do? Run into the bell. I want to see what the bell is. Can you I seduce? You don't see the bell. You heard it. You want to hear it? Chase after the sound, though. Ooh, I'll chase for the sound. You can't tell where it's coming from. The like echoing in the room. Yes. Is there a door still? Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a door. Okay. Fifty seconds left on the timer. I go up to the door, and I take one of my sheep's horns and try to pry it open. Nothing happens. Timer oh. for extra time. Huh? Hmm? I seduce the timer for extra time. <gasps> no. You can try pushing the button. What? You can try pushing one of the buttons. Hmm, let's press the red one. The red, red one? one. Mm -hmm. Alright. All right. The timer resets. Ah. Ooh. You have one minute. Oh, it just starts over? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, can I press the yellow one next? Alright. The timer now says 1 minute 30 seconds. Uh, can I press the green one? You hear the bell the again. Another makes the noise again. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> well, that's him? Was our husband whacked him? What? <laughs> what's happening? I press the green button. The bell rings the again. Good bell again. Okay. I smash the red button. <laughs> the timer resets. <laughs> you still have one minute left on the timer. The timer has reset. And... The red button is now broken. <laughs> All right, I run for the yellow one. Jeez. One minute thirty seconds. All right, All right. I feel okay. like the goal is to break whatever is in here. Um. <laughs> oh wait, I have a plan. I have a plan though. Like, actually, a decent plan for once. Great. 35 we seconds. Hit, yellow. hit okay. the yellow. You hit the yellow? Yeah. One minute. Great. I would Speak. like to use thaum thaumaturgy. Thaumaturgy. I don't know if that's. Yep, thaumaturgy. To create an instantaneous sound that originates from a po point of your choice. So I decide to put it in every corner of the room until I hear where the bell came from. Okay. <laughs> you did. You did your turn. Okay. The bell isn't ringing right now. <laughs> Press yellow again. But anything sound familiar? One minute. I pressed the green button. You hear the bell. It seems to be coming from everywhere. I, I look up. I want to use fire. <laughs> <laughs> I hit yellow again. Yellow again? Yeah. Yeah. You are now at 1 minute 20 seconds. Got it. You want to use fire, cat? Oh, wait. No, I have a better idea. Well, we just spam the green. No, no, no. no. I got something. Uh, break it. Break so it. Break it. That is still infatuated with Becca, right? <laughs> Me? Mm. No. I'm going to use thontomology. I'm going to make it sound like Becca or Phoebe is screaming for help. So a centipede bursts through the door and comes to our rescue. The centipede is too big to get through the door. A bard. I and make the screaming louder. I have a loop. Hit yellow again. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. I make the screaming even louder. Blind, can I call the centipede? <laughs> On a phone? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! I have like a. <laughs> 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 
you, did you name the centipede? <laughs> Seduce the centipede. Can I call the centipede? You know what? Roll. Sure. Great. Right. Roll. 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 While she's rolling, I hit the yellow button. Wait, uh, one minute. I'm adding, am I adding my charisma to that? Yeah. You know what? Um, I'm gonna say add your persuasion. Persuasion. What is my persuasion? Let me. Um. 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 My persuasion is eight, so that's twenty-seven. Oh. Oh. A centipede. You know <laughs> this centipede breaks through all of the walls previously <laughs> <laughs> into the next room, on <laughs> trying to assist you to the best of its abilities. The timer is still ticking down, and you have fifty-six left. They have thirty seconds left. Oh. Never mind, 30 seconds left. I'm sorry. I hit the button again. Okay, one minute. Can I try busting down the door? You can try. I'm now present. So, how about we just hop on the back of my centipede? Wait, what if we let the timer go out? I don't know. At least now my centipede is with me. I decide to huddle up with my sheep and take a short nap. <laughs> okay. Alarith, what do you do? Uh, I try to, um, kick down the door. Nothing happens. The door is- I command right. my centipede to burst through the door? The, the centipede the tries his hardest to get through the door for you because he loves you so much, he just wants to please you. Nothing happens. He's not strong enough to get through this one. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay, sweetie. You go it's alright. <laughs> right. Here's- here, here, Nine here. Nine seconds. Okay. Seven. Two. I hide with Phoebe and the centipede. Time goes up. <laughs> the door opens. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> My centipede. <laughs> I slowly get up and walk out the door. Oh. Big enough for the centipede to squeeze through if it really tries its hardest. It really tried. It is with us. <laughs> Does this mean the centipede has joined the party? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay! Can I give Can I give him a name? Yeah, sure. What's What's his name? Gerald. Oh. Gerald. Gerald. Yeah. Type it. How do How do you spell that? I don't know. I I will make you a promise now that if he dies, I will resurrect him. Let's say that, Gerald. You, you go into the next room. The, do the door is slid downward and towards the bottom of the room, there is a door that is guarded off. There are 20 small creatures that seem to be coming, although you can't quite make out what they are. Dim, what do you do? Um, I panic and let my least favorite color sheep go towards them. <laughs> Which one is your least favorite colored sheep? I'm sorry, but it has to be red. Mala sacrifices the red sheep as it wanders up to the 20 small being. You hear a pluck, pluck, and then you hear something that sounds like a rider. As your sheep seems to have its eyes pecked out by small chicken. And it dies promptly. Your sheep has five hit points each, by the way. Oh, okay. Can I seduce the bird? <laughs> You can fucking try, you furry. There are 20 of them. How many of them are you trying to seduce? All of them. All of them? <laughs> Roll. Roll a d100. Roll a With d100. disadvantage. No. Oh, With disadvantage? Because they are aggressive. Because they are aggressive? They're aggressive okay. already. They win and attack an innocent sheep. He went in and attacked innocent sheep. What is disadvantage? Uh, roll twice roll, roll and you your, take roll the roll, the lowest number. We take the lowest? Mm hmm Because I rolled 86, I rolled 82, and then I got a 6. <laughs> uh, the, the, chi the chickens start to... The, the chickens start to try to attack you now. They're all focused on you. Alright, can I hit them with the pickup line? Oh. You know what? Now the chickens have noticed have have noticed your party. Roll initiative. 
It's roll your d20 plus your initiative. Hey, I'm finding my initiative first. <laughs> Next to armor class. Right, that's plus four. So I rolled a 15. 15? Yeah, so that's 19. Oh. Cat? Me? Mm -hmm. You want me to roll? Yeah. Counts as an RD. Initiative. Where is my initiative? Oh, damn, I only have one. <laughs> I got four. <laughs> you got a four? Uh-huh. Elrith, what's your initiative? Four. You got four? All right. Yeah. So, first in the order... Oh, actually, you know what? Duh. This is... Okay. Oh, okay. Um, first in the order is Becca. What do you do? The chickens are after your party now. After my party. Yeah. I seduce again. You try and seduce them. Oh, of course. Roll your D100 with, with disadvantage. Disadvantage! They are trying to hurt you right now. <laughs> I mean... I right. got 71 and 56. They're even I'm... more angry at you. You have Let me failed. hit him with my pickup line. Let me hit him with my pickup line. Hey, my name's Microsoft. I crash at your place tonight. They are angry at you and they're still heading towards your party. Cat, what do you do? Um, can I cast two spells? You can cast one spell. So for each round um. of combat, every single what every single person does, they have a single action that they can do. You can. Yeah, you I know that. I was just asking. Okay. I use Chill Touch at full capacity to, uh, you know, just um slow him down. <clears throat> I can tell you what the spell does. Yeah, read off that while I... Okay. Get chill answer. Touch. It is in direct correspondence to my Necromancer class, so it is at full power. And I create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of a creature within range. Okay, so roll to hit. That's roll your d20 plus your um, plus your attack bonus. D20 plus my attack bonus. Okay. It'd be your spell attack bonus because it's. I know. Yeah. Trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I got five. You got a five. <laughs> You do not hit yeah. them. Fun. Uh, homework. What do you do? I try and persuade them to join the party. Oh, wow! Be right back. Uh, roll persuasion with disadvantage on a D one hundred. Seventy. Any second number? Um. 70 again. Oh, wow. Um, you fail. They do not want to join your party, and they are now also targeting you as well. Oh, it's great. the chicken's turn. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see. Hmm. Becca, what's your AC? AC? <laughs> Team. Hmm. Let's go. God, there's. <laughs> They're gonna attack as a swarm because twenty of them is too many to do single handedly. So. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> They just barely miss you. <laughs> what do you want to do now? Me? Yeah. I seduce until they die. Like, they die of boredom. Like, they die from they loving me so much. I'm telling you now, they're not gonna... They're not gonna give up until you kill them. 
Oh, wait. Ready? I'm gonna... Oopsie. I'm just gonna add someone into the initiative order because I forgot them. So, Becca, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Did you add? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what would you like to do? I forgot what weapons I have. You have the very first weapon on your sheet. So rapier. you have a rapier, yeah. It's a bard. It's not really violent. So what are you going to do? Ah. What? Right, team. All right, team. Here's our game plan. By the way, each each turn is about six seconds. Oh, uh, then I attack with my rapier. All right, roll to hit. Roll to hit. Got 16. 16? Yeah, am I adding anything? Yeah, you roll your attack bonus, so 16 plus 7. Oh, uh, so, yeah, 16 plus 7, what is that? 23? Yeah. Oh. All right, you... Let's see what the... Hmm. You hit... Uh, ten of the chickens. Roll for damage. Roll for damage? Do I roll? So, with that, you're gonna... Look where it says the the hit the dice next to the rapier. The 1d8 plus 5. So, you roll yeah. the you roll the d8 and then add the 5. Oh. Seven. Yeah, seven? Plus five. Plus five. Elf. Alright. You have killed ten of the chickens. There are still ten of them. Uh, Cat, it's your turn. We gonna be eating chickens. Oh, okay. hmm. I would like to... Hmm. Hmm. Look at what the hell my things do. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I have stuff. Okay, so I would like to use Firebolt on a few of the chickens. Alright, roll to hit. 14 with modifier. That's total? 14 total? Yeah. Uh, you don't hit them. Okay. I also don't remember what I did the AC for them for Becca, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't write it down. <laughs> Just chuck in, you want me to roll a d20, right? Yeah, that was. Okay. So yeah, uh, next in the order is your sheep. That's what I forgot to put in there. Ah. So my she sheep have five hit points, and what dice would they use? I would assume they use the same so dice as a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Because they're sheep and they don't know how to do any combat, <laughs> they get they get to use a d4. Okay. With plus one. Okay. So I'm gonna let you take control of your two sheep. What would you like them to do? Wait, where'd my other four sheep go? You only got three that loved you. The other ones did not uh, care about you. Hmm. Anyways. So I'm going to have Yellow stay with me away. Like out of harm's way because Yellow's like pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to have Orange because there can only be one orange bitch in this house. <laughs> Actually no, Purple because I'm Purple, sorry. Gonna be one purple bitch in this house. I'm going to have them go and like try and bite the chickens' heads off. Okay. Uh, roll it. Total four. They do not hit. <laughs> they miss the completely, and they are now surrounded by chickens. Eh, purple um, can die. <laughs> Elrith, your turn. Um, I use. My wait, which weapon do I have at the moment? 
You have... I need to get your character sheet again. You have your Warhammer. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I That's... use my Warhammer and I try to um, beat the chickens to death. Roll a hit. Nine. Nine plus four. You do not hit them. You... What happens is you swing at them so confident with yourself, but you are a good foot above their heads. Next up is the chickens. Let's see. Do I want to do them as a swarm or do I want to break them up? Let's do a swarm. So the chickens descend on the purple sheep that was surrounded. Let's see. Uh, that's a hit. Um, <laughs> the damage. They should not have that one. They should have. This one's good. Um, your purple sheep is now dead. Okay. So you only have your yellow sheep now. Uh, Becca, your turn. Oh my god. Yeah. What does Phoebe do? Phoebe would like to attack again. All right. Roll the hit. What do I roll? Uh, the d20 plus your uh, modifier. Okay. Uh, 18. That's 18 plus 7. What is you that? Hit. Oh, okay. I don't know what 18 plus 7 is still. <laughs> 25. All right. 25. Uh, yeah, you hit. Roll for damage. Oh. Great. Uh, oh my god, Lover. <laughs> and a six. Uh, that's, so it's six plus five. Uh, that's eleven. Alright. Uh, congrats, you kill the rest of the chickens. Oh. Oh. Get a seduced. Okay. You tried seducing twice, hun. <laughs> I tried not having it. <laughs> they should have. Or they would have lived. Alright, do you, the the door is opened after you defeat the twenty chicken. Would you like to go through that door? Yes. Let's go through the door. All of you wanna go through? Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh. You guys enter the room and in the middle of the room you see a pedestal about three feet high. On it is a single red button. Uh, directly across from the door that you just entered is the locked door. There, it is, sorry, I missed it. It's a circular room with a ceiling, an incredibly high ceiling, so high up that it descends to darkness and you can't see anything. What do you do? I feel like if we press the Button, either that door's gonna open or something's gonna fall from the ceiling. Let me check and see. Are you checking? I would like. Thom I can never pronounce it. Thaumaturgy. Mal Thaumaturgy, yeah. Can I use that to cause any flames to flicker bright or brighten? See if there's any like flames up there? Or like any of the stuff below to kind of just like brighten. There are no yeah. torches up there. It just descends into dark ascends into darkness. But what there's the torches down here. There's a torch can, by the door. Can I brighten that? Yeah. I wanna brighten it. You brighten it? The ceiling doesn't get any brighter. Huh. Clearly, this is the work of a demon. <laughs> is there anything on the walls? No. Homework, what do you do? Can I just oh, go well. over and press the button? Yeah, do you want to do that? Yeah. Alright. So... I'm gonna just let them. <laughs> so you press the button. I mean, you guys press the button too. You threw sheep at a button. 
<laughs> so I you press the button, one. and all of a sudden, as soon as the button is pressed, you hear a very, a very loud groaning and scraping of stone on on metal, and this, you realize the ceiling is slowly coming down, bit by bit. Hmm. As it descends past the darkness, you can see on the ceiling, it's not just a normal ceiling, there's spikes on the ceiling. And it's still oh, descending. Oh. What do you do? TB, do you still have Gerald? Yes, I do have Gerald. <laughs> Mara, oh, you still, how, many, how many sheep are remaining in your One. regime? One. Oh. <laughs> what and color? it's yellow. Okay. Maybe beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Uh, um, I just start praying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frank, that's how it's going to change with my character sheet. You just start praying? Um, yeah. Can I seduce the door with song? You sing to the door. Nothing happens. Ellerith? Can I? Can I pray too? <laughs> You're gonna pray too? Yeah, I'm gonna pray to my God. There is there. What happens if I press the switch again? Do you want to press it? Oh yeah. Okay, you press it. The ceiling resets. Oh, fabulous! Huh? Fuck Love that. And it's going down again. I'm this time a little bit can faster. Hmm. My... Huh. Hmm. What would you like to see? Can I ask my for help? You pray to your god, and you beg for them to help you and give you some kind of answer. But you feel a weird disconnect with your god, like you can't reach them in this room. Hmm. What heretics have done? This? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to send you my updated character sheet because I just finally fixed it. Okay. Matt, can I, I use uh, Arctic Inspiration where I spire, inspire the people around me by playing my la la la, my music, by rolling a d6? Uh, sure. Oh. What's Ambulance. that gonna do? What, is, what does it do? <laughs> Uh, so, you can inspire others, those uh, stirring words or music, do so, uh, it's a bonus action, blah blah blah, uh, one creature, or other than yourself, I inspire them, and they do whatever, and it goes on for ten minutes. Okay. Uh, once within the next ten minutes, the creature can roll, die, um... The added numbers, like the ability check, um, attack roll, or saving throws, it can be the creature, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Can I do it? You know what? Sure. Great. Got a six. Awesome. A six. So who was that for? It's for anybody who's near me in, like, 60 feet. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. Okay. Oh. Is it just is it just like an advantage on their rolls or what? Yeah. Okay. Boost. The ceiling is now about three feet above you. All right, I hit the red button again. Reset. Come back up. And it's going right, a little it. bit faster this time than before. All right. All right. Oh. All right. Let's figure out what's happening. Um, can I can I seduce the door? You already tried that. Nothing happened. I seduce the ceiling. Nothing happens. But don't even get to roll. The um, ceiling is about five feet above you now. Wait, I, the frick, red I forgot in. that I had dark vision. I could see the spikes. It's sixty feet. But yeah, it's are they high. higher? Than 60 feet? It was a very tall ceiling, but yeah, you can see the spikes now. Oh, <laughs> everyone now. can. It's five feet above <laughs> you. <laughs> centipede is starting to feel a little. Smashed. Yeah, how tall, is the, how tall is the centipede? It's a very uh, long centipede. It's about uh, 12 feet, but it stands up about 
Gerald is lying about on how the tall? Stands oh. up to be about four or five feet. Oh, yeah, your centipede is starting to get squished. And uh, I hear red! I hear red! No! <laughs> no! No! no. Alright, it resets. Your centipede is bleeding, and the ceiling is even faster this time because you keep pressing the button. Can I, can I, can I heal Gerald? Wait, 1% of the time, what? <laughs> can I try holding the button? Yes. Just press uh, it. <laughs> Does it make the feeling pause? No. <laughs> I healed Gerald. What happens is it doesn't reset, but it is incredibly fast now, and you have about 10 seconds before it is a foot above. No, four feet above you. One. Oh can I attempt to break free the ceiling? What do you tell me? What you're gonna do? I um, cry. Airlift, what are you doing? Can I use my war hammer to break free the ceiling? How tall are you? Five foot two. You can try. I'll say that. You manage to chip one of the spikes. Right. It's still there, but you, you chipped it. <laughs> um, can I attack the ceiling with my rapier? You can. Wait. Nothing happens. <laughs> A pointing? <laughs> you Are you still holding the button? You my sheet press it over and over and over again. <laughs> So what's happening with you pressing the button over and over again, and with the established precedent that it gets faster every time you press the button, Hold you it. are now at the point where when you press the button over and over, it is coming closer and closer and closer, and it is about, let's say, <laughs> 20 inches Seven from inches your away. face. Oh. Uh, I'm just saying that I should only press it when- 19 inches. 18 inches. <laughs> Gerald is full of spikes right now. All right, all right. Gerald's still kicking. Gerald is still steadily <laughs> losing Feed. HP. He right, is bleeding Gerald, out. Gerald is standing up. Gerald is a strong boy. Gerald. <laughs> Gerald is standing Can up. Can I use some light on hands? No, Gerald is down. on the ground. Gerald is trying to stand up. It is again. now two inches from your heads. Phoebe, I know it's like about two feet from you because you are three feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gerald, however, is five feet tall. Gerald, however, is trying to stand up on all of its legs to fight the ceiling. Gerald, no! Gerald ah! takes 20 hit points. Gerald. He ha- I'm gonna say, Gerald's dead. <gasps> Gerald will be the only two Gerald. inches. One oh. inch. It slams into your heads. Erlith and oh. Malra, you are now dead right now. I'm fine. I'm the only one I don't do this to me. You just killed my best. It slams the ceiling Gerald. slams down with no one to hit the button. Everything's black for you guys. Couple seconds go by, and suddenly the room is back to normal. Gerald's, Gerald's alive. alive again. You're all alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, your, sheep, your sheep also died there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Gerald's the only one that matters. You hear the ceiling coming back down, though. Not as fast as it was, but at a steady pace. Right. Let's make a game. Play. Don't press the button. Whatever you do, don't press the. Don't touch buttons. Us. So is the room smooth? Is there a picture? What is it? What are we standing on? The same as the other rooms. Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Metal, right, Oliver? Oh, yeah, it, it is. If, what if, instead of going up, we go down? On the metal? Where are the walls? <laughs> Wait, what do you, what do you, what do you... What, what are you going to do? Phoebe, what are you going to do with the ceiling slowly descending? 
Um, my intelligence is not high, and I am aware I can't do basic math, but I can oh. do quick math that's not accurate. Um, how about the, if there is texture on the walls, we touch the walls. But I'm feeling that we jump up and down, or like I play my loot hardcore against the floor to see if it's hollow, and then we just go down. You play your loot furiously staring at the floor, <laughs> hoping against hope that you hear something. It's solid. Who, who spent the money on this? Erelith, Elrit, Malra, what do you want to do? Um, the ceiling is I about ten feet away right one of the now. Walls? Has anyone tried seducing one singular spike so that we can all stand in one area? I tried, and then the DM said it's seduction's not gonna work, and I said, "Always oh, works." I Even if it did work, um, Gerald wouldn't be able to fit in the space with yeah, along two, with the sheep. Two spikes. Gerald is too big for two. It would have to be six. Seducing. Spikes, we've established it's not going to Okay. You know, it was Gerald had me on top of his head as I seduced the spikes. Uh, like, while they're really <laughs> high up, and then um, they're a far enough distance where I can still reach them. Uh, so, seduce. Seduce. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Try and seduce the spike that Ellerith uh, chipped. It chips about, like, a millimeter more. Okay, okay. That's it. It's a win. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the room, it's still coming down. It is now two feet away from the heads of the five feet people. Okay, that's it. Can uh -huh. I use fire on the walls again? You use fire on the walls. The room gets really hot because it's metal. The red. Exactly. Fireball the red. on a wall. And then to use chill touch so it heats and cools rapidly and it becomes brittle so I can punch through the walls are too thick yeah, yeah. <laughs> well someone has a pallet in here if you don't know they got a war hammer <laughs> the walls are too thick it is now a foot above like your heads me. red Gerald red. is almost gonna be hurt again yeah! as he was before Gerald yeah, looks up at the ceiling and you can see a tear start rolling down his Oh, face. Gerald! He's no. scared! The red button! <laughs> Do you hit the red button? Yes! It How resets and the steel is coming down faster. Oh, right, well, at least we Gerald's okay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> can I Gerald use my own? Gerald is now sobbing. <laughs> this on the this floor. is gonna be weird. The ceiling is 10 this feet away. No, since I have 50 feet of rope in my explorer's pack, is there a way that I can use bondage on the ceiling? You don't have anything on you. I just said I have 50 feet of- Oh, frick! You don't have- you don't have a sword. Aww. You have nothing but your armor and your first weapon. Okay. I attack the ceiling. You what? What if I bear oh, my uncle. tail? What? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Bearing my tail. Bearing your tail? Bearing my tail. What are you bearing it in? <laughs> bearing like showing it. Showing, showing. it. Uh, showing it through the seal. You are now bearing your tail at the ceiling. It's still coming down. <laughs> okay. Um Can I seduce the ceiling? No, we've established this. <laughs> Chipped! It is five inches from the top of your head. This is what happened. Malra, your horns are starting to get chipped. and Gerald is bit. very upset. Oh no, I'm just doing back <laughs> How dare you use Gerald in such a tactic? What? What? Gerald is still standing up. Gerald is getting squished a little bit. Ground. He's starting to bleed. Their spikes are poking into Gerald. Gerald, no! Can I look around the room for a key? You can. There's... Roll perception. No. 
You're being squished. Okay. I got a 19. 19? Cool. 19. What you see in the room... There's nothing in the room but the pedestal and the button and the spikes. I tried! If I break the pedestal. What'd you do? Break okay. the pedestal. You break the pedestal? Yes. And that's what you want to do. Roll strength. Worse. Yes. Roll strength. Roll strength. D20? Mm hmm. Great. An 18. Total? It's 5. Uh, what is 18 plus 5? Is that 23? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then yes. Did I punch know the I pedestal. Wait, I punch it. Where? <laughs> what? The it's my height! I punch it! Where my arms hit it! <laughs> so on the side? I'm facing it. How skinny is this thing? Let's say, you know what, let's say it's, it's your size. Let's say it's your size. My size? Great, we punch it right but in the middle. It's, it's also four feet tall though, but like, yeah. We <laughs> punch it in the middle, like. You punch the pedestal. Uh, right? Your arm goes all the way through. To the shoulder. <laughs> it is your height. It is just you. <laughs> and <laughs> suddenly... As, Ger as the spikes are starting to poke more into Gerald, because it's still been moving this whole time, and he's bleeding. It stops. And the pedestal it. topples over. Do it. Break the pedestal. The door opens. There you. I saved Gerald. Gerald. Are you going to tell Gerald to lay down and get out of the spikes? Because they are clearly yeah! in him. Yes! I've been doing that! Alright. <laughs> By the way, Elrith and Malra, you also were getting poked by the spikes because you're as tall as Gerald. I know. You're taller than Gerald. Both of you take... Four. I'll just... Four? Mm -hmm. Four points of damage. Not shit hurted. <laughs> oh no. into the short one. Do you all, all walk right. into the next room? Yes. Yeah. Right, and Gerald comes with us. He's lying on the ground. He's slithering all of his legs. <laughs> Beautiful. I uh, will give you an update on Gerald's. Gerald is down to... You know what? Because of everything that he's been through, he's down to 13 HP. I gave him a total of 20. Oh, I didn't know you gave him that high. I gave him stats. Wow. All right, so you're you're in the next room now. Yes. Okay. the The door closes behind you as you enter into the next room. This room is dimly lit with some blood splatters, also made of metal, as the previous. One. There is a pedestal in the middle, something light on, and a sign. What do you do? Keep breaking. Can we read the sign? Would you like to? Yes. Alright. What? Uh, <laughs> can you sign? read? <laughs> can, can we make Yes, I can. Read? I'm a scholar. The, the, the sign says, Those seeking entry must shed their blood on the portal. And that can't a, stop me. There's a, there's a dagger on, on top of the pedestal. And a door that is closed, locked shut. I pick up the knife, draw a little heart on my palm, and put it on the pedestal. I love that you made a heart. <laughs> wait, is the dagger poison? Wait, what do you- no. What do you- what do you put- wait. <laughs> what do you- uh, I'm sorry, what? Are you okay? <laughs> no, no, no. Did you not expect me to just do what the sign says? <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what, did, what are you putting- what did you put on the pedestal? My blood. Oh. Uh. I Nothing. put my hand on the pedestal so the heart, as my hand bleeds, there can be a little heart of blood left. Nothing happens. Would you like to reread the sign? However, oh, it does sure. make a very nice imprint. <laughs> you can also see the floor is covered with dried blood stains. Hmm. So, yes, I'd like to read the sign again. There's you're kind of cutting out. 
Oh, the the sign says, Those seeking entry must shed their blood on the portal. Where's the portal? Oh. Need a mop! Do you have a mop? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I use my tail. You, you have hair. Yeah. True. That goes ashore this year to pick her up. <laughs> use me as a mop. Do we have water? No. I have a pot of ink. No, you don't. That's a oh. <laughs> Alra, what do you have? Nothing. Spells? I have my undying wit. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. So, uh, where is the most crusty, dusty blood at? The far corners <laughs> of the most crusty, dusty blood you have ever seen, and heaps of it. Question. Mm, so it's thick. It's, th um, it's thick blood, all right. Does the blood have like, to come? I'm I'm sorry. What? <laughs> okay, I'll just ask a question real quick. Does the blood have to come from a wound, or can it just like flow? <laughs> you know. <laughs> all right. I thought you were going to cut the sentence off there. Read the uh, sign again. <laughs> no, that's what you get. <laughs> you get the sign, and that's it. So, technically, since the uterus is shedding the blood, that could work. Okay, okay. Oh, how many of us are females? Us, I think. Oh. <laughs> 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 he is clearly a female. Just seduces everything under the sun. We're all females. So what do you right. do? Bleed in a corner. <laughs> Did you say bleed in a corner? Uh -huh. You bleed in a corner, adding to the most to the blood stains on the floor. Nothing happens. Okay. Oh, what if it's not in the corners? What if it's what? What is in the middle of the room? What if it's the sign. Nothing. What if it's the sign. <laughs> in the middle of the room. Oh. More than the pedestal and the dagger. And There's the a pedestal? I'm going to use a dagger to draw a pentagram in the floor. Oh, we're summoning demons, okay. <laughs> I'm going to make um, a portal. What's this pedestal looking like? Rusty? It is, it is a, uh, the pedestal is made of titanium and is shape. Shiny? Is it shiny? It is very shiny. Hmm. Look it. What's on the side of it? <laughs> there is nothing on the side of it other than that singular that is pasted. Can, can I seduce? Know? Can I seduce the pedestal? I want to seduce. <gasps> we both seduce. <gasps> can we do a double, double team rocket thing? Oh, <laughs> can I join the seduction? Team? Oh, we're team rocket. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the highest charisma? I mean, yeah. I have 19. 19? Alright, I have roll... plus. Roll with. Roll the d20 with advantage. With advantage. At what'd you roll? 20. Not 20? No. Okay. Um, oh my god, all of them. Uh, Becca, what'd you roll? I rolled a 19 and a 20. A nat 20? Or no? What do you, what? Do you, what? Was it a nat 20 or was it, like, with modifiers? No, oh, I just rolled, a, like, a d20 and got 20. Okay, so that's a nat 20. A nat, nat right. 20 <laughs> is when you just roll the die and it's a 20 and that means, like, Basically, the best possible thing with modifiers. You know, if you get a twenty with modifiers, it's still really good, but like it's not the best possible thing. Um, uh, all right, Ellerith. Ten. All right. So you all try. You know what? Let me hear you guys' best attempts. Seduction. Yeah, for the pedestal. 
Hmm. You were campfire because I want some s'more. Alright. Um, can, can I use, use a... Haiku? Can you use a what? Can I use a haiku? Go for it. Okay. <clears throat> it was you. It was me. It was a silence under the stars that understood my heartbeat. And it's racing. You told me nothing. I believed everything. In that moment, I found life. In that moment, I found you. <laughs> All right. Ellerith? Are you crossing those ice? Because you're looking like a 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With those rolls, you say your lines to the pedestal, and nothing happens because it's a pedestal. Seduce the blood. You seduce the blood? Ooh. I like your thinking. I seduce the blood that's on the pedestal. That's your own blood. Exactly. Blood. You can try seducing stuff if you want. Alright, I'm seducing the blood. <laughs> gonna roll to see if I can blood on us. <laughs> Want modifiers on this roll? None. Roll a straight d20. Okay. You did. <laughs> I got 20 again! The blood... You know what? I got a 12. Becca, the blood that you seduce looks a little bit brighter. <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow, it doesn't look as old and... Like, it doesn't look as old as it did. Just a little looks bit brighter. Old. Cat, what'd you get? I got a 12. A 12? 12. Nothing happens. Elrith, what are you doing? 11. Nothing happens. <laughs> I can't believe seduction worked. <laughs> My guard with low what you next? You made some happy blood. <laughs> <laughs> some happy blood. <laughs> Serial killer. Is it liquid? Or is it like. Lakes? No. It, you, no, it's, wait. It's is it still brighter? dried blood. It's just a little bit brighter. Right? It's, so it's. There are blood lighter. stains on the floor. If I talk to it. Sure, you can talk to the floor. What do you, what do you, oh. say, what do you say to the floor? What is, your, what is your line to the floor? Come here often? <laughs> Try one more pickup line on the door. Just cuz. Okay. Hmm. You're peanut butter. I'm jelly. Let's have it. Oh. Beautiful, oh wasn't God. it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Would you like right. to read the sign again? Can I seduce the sign? Uh, <laughs> You can. Nothing happens. I wouldn't mind reading it again. The sign says once more, those seeking entry must shed their blood on the portal. On the portal? Yes. On the door. On the portal. Or I take my I tail, my cut the little tip, and just make a little heart on the door. Oh, a smiley face? <laughs> Lo and behold, the door opens! <laughs> I hate me. Look at me. Way too simple. Yo. Ow. What? The door opens. Do you walk door. through? Yes. So, you charge through the door. I'm excited to finally be out of the blood room. Uh, and as you charge into the next room, there isn't a door on the other side like you've been used to. You turn around. There's a mirror. You just charged out of a mirror. There is there is an engraving above the frame of the mirror. It says, to go forward, you must go back. The rest of the room is completely empty. Not from what you... What do you do? I seduce my reflection again. Yeah, I'm gonna seduce my reflection again, too. Let's roll. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have my modifiers. 
It's gonna be a straight D twenty roll. Nineteen. Thirteen. Errol. Seven. So Elerith attempts to seduce the mirror. Her reflection is moving with her. Say moving this her mouth the same way, making the same gestures. Nothing happens. Uh who who was the next highest? Our next level. Nineteen. Thirteen. Malra, you then seeing nothing happens, you attempt to try it for yourself. Same thing. You same gestures, same mouth movement. Nothing happens. Phoebe, when you walk up to the mirror to do your attempt, same thing happens. Same gestures, same mouth movements as in the reflection. Nothing happens. Oh, so I'm seducing myself. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love everyone. <laughs> you want to fight? It works. Uh -huh. it like it. But um. How about intimidation? Do you want to roll intimidation? Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll let you have the modifiers for that. Uh, 12 with the modifier. 12 with the modifier. All right. You go up, you go up to a reflection. What is, what, what do you say? You suck. All right. Oh. Yelling at the mirror. You suck in the angriest tone you can manage. Looking at yourself saying that, it hurts, it hurts your own self-confidence. And you walk away from the mirror crying a little bit. Can I roll for intimidation for my own reflection? Yeah, sure. Great. Is that with the modifier? With the modifier. Great, so 10 plus 8? Yeah, 10 plus 8. 18. Alright. What do you say? You can never seduce as well as me! The mirror copies you. You're kind of hurt. You walk away with a little bit of a weird inferior inf inferiority inferior. complex with yourself. You have a weird competition with yourself. Mm. Every time you see a reflection of yourself now, you're going to feel a little bit competitive. <laughs> Malra, what do you do? Um, since I'm never going to use a skill, can I use history? Can you use what? Can I use history on the mirror so all of my knowledge from the past Yes. Okay. Hi. Roll. I am, I am. I got an eight. <laughs> with that, with an eight, is that total? Total. No. With an eight, you think in one of the past, like in one of the scrolls that you've read or one of the books that you've read in the past, you think that one of them might have mentioned something about a mirror, but you're not sure. <laughs> hey, that's the answer to the riddle I had for my dead colleague. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say above the mirror again? To go forward, you must go back. Can I make a staircase again? <laughs> to where? I touched the mirror. I I the mirror. mirror. <laughs> Should I break it? Can we walk backwards? Try can it. Touch can I touch the mirror? Who's going first? I don't know. Oh. Phoebe or Ellerith? Oh. Oh, would you like to go? Uh, you can go first if you want. <laughs> right, I would love to touch the mirror. You want to punch it? No, 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 no. Touch it. Caress it. Oh, touch it. Okay. You walk up to the mirror, and you lovingly caress your own reflection. You feel the you feel the cool surface of it, and nothing happens. Mm, so I love myself again. I love that. Mm. Oh no, you're still you're still competitive with yourself. You're oh, yeah, no, infatuated no, no. with yourself. It's a weird relationship you have with your own reflection. Yeah, I have a lovely relationship with myself. <laughs> Elric. What are you doing? I attempt to walk backwards into the mirror. As you walk backwards towards the mirror, you expect to feel the cold surface. You walk through and you, 
and you're through it. You could through the mirror, you can see your other two party members just standing there. Me being a dumbass, I run backwards. <laughs> you run backwards. I run backwards. <laughs> Oh. You trip on your way out, but you know you still make it through. You trip on hey. the you trip on the bottom frame of the mirror, and you tumble through into the next room. I walk backwards, and um, I I wink. <laughs> Your reflection comes <laughs> <is> back <laughs> while also throwing you a middle finger. <laughs> no, you love me. As you walk into the next room. You feel a sense of calm come over you. It's a well-lit room. Fairly well-lit for what you've been experiencing. There's a couple beds. And you see a, a chest in the corner. What do you do? I use intimidation on the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Roll. <laughs> what? Twenty-three. 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 The chest breaks, and out tumbles. What do they get, Oliver? There's uh, several pieces of bread, along with a few flasks of water, bread. and a single rainbow-colored mushroom. Oh, I want to eat. Let's <laughs> not eat it. <laughs> Can I get my sheep? Shrooms, you still have man. one sheep, yeah, actually. Yeah, Can I give it to my sheep. <gasps> you want to give it to your sheep? Is everyone fine with that? Do that. Okay, I want to give it to my sheep. At first, <laughs> it looks like nothing happens to the sheep. He, he's just a little sorry. What's what? What do you? What gender do you want the sheep? Um, they them. All right. They just they just look a little bit more awake. But then suddenly, your sheep falls. Looks a little bit. A little bit in pain for a second. Oh. And the yellow fades from their coat. But then, they stand back up. Brighter than ever, constantly cycling through all the colors of the rainbow. <gasps> yeah! Neon, <laughs> neon colors of the oh, yeah. rainbow, bright as hell. Hell yeah. It is oh, now geez. a rave. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All of Me? you roll a wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> All of us. All of you. All of you. Wisdom. Are we? Is it with? With disadvantage. Wait. D twenty or D one hundred? A D twenty. Okay. Eight. Don't forget to add your modifiers. Okay, um, I got an eighteen and a. Eighteen and what? Eighteen and a twenty. All right. Cat, you're good. Phoebe, okay. what'd you get? I got my lowest. Was, I, is this with the modifier? Yes. No. 13. And? Was 13 and, your lowest? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Elrith, what'd you get? 8. Was that with disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, Cat is safe. Ma Malra is just really happy with her new neon bright as hell sheep. Elrith and Phoebe, with the sudden change of the sheep and this new light constantly switching through, both of you fall. Asleep? Both of you have a seizure. And then they're unconscious. Oh, I've had those before. You don't know what's happening now. You're unconscious. And that's the end of our first episode. Sorry for the abrupt cut. Uh, when we first recorded this, we did not think we'd be making episodes out of it or anything like this. So for the first couple of sessions, it's going to be a little bit abrupt in the beginning and the ending, but after that, we should get the hang of it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>